We're in a very noisy, very populated outdoor camping area today. Lots of fathers, lots of sons having a great time. Some friends in my community all got together for this family camping trip. And here I am with my father, or me and my boys as a father and with my two sons out here to do a quick review of the Coleman Easy Up eight person tent. This is the 10 by 14 variety. They make several of these. Uh, this is the one that I chose. I'm gonna talk about why I chose it and also talk about some of the specs, some of the features on it. If I miss anything, I'll have those, those details on screen or down in the description. I'll also have a link to buy it down in the description if you're interested in it. And um, we're just gonna do our best to cover everything about this tent and sort of my experience with it. We've had this out on, I wanna say four outings, definitely four outings, uh, this one included. And one of those was actually a torrential downpour so we got soaked all night. I mean, this thing got rained on all night long. And then on one of the other outings, it actually uh, was freezing overnight. I and mean, that was full of scouts, but the scouts did okay in it. So this tent has been through all types of camping and it's held up really well throughout all of that. Um, so we'll talk about sort of the construction of it. You can see that all the poles are here on the outside and you can see how those are connected to the tent by these little clips. And it has sort of a central point right there at the top, which is sort of where all these poles emanate from, sort of like spider legs, except there's only six of them. And they kind of fold up at this joint right there. And I'll show all this in the takedown at the end of the video. They fold up at that joint right there and then close in and collapse into one little neat package. Uh, and you can see sort of, we'll, we'll cover the construction here in a second, but while, while we're on the subject of how it condenses and how it goes together and how it uh, gets put away, here's the bag for it. There's the stake bag for it. And uh, an interesting point about this bag is that it is expandable. Here on the bottom of it, you can see this little tearaway strip. So you can cut that or tear that off and then actually expand that out with this little gusseted area right there if you want to. Um, I've had luck so far fitting it into the bag without having to expand it, so I'm choosing not to do that yet. Back to the tent, uh, looking at some of the sort of the rainproofness or some of the um, uh, weatherproofness, we see that these, uh, these flaps right here are designed to repel the water coming down uh, from the top. Obviously, it's designed in the right way, so the seams are all pointed this direction. But this flap that comes up from the inside would actually zip up behind this flap. And this is true all over the tent, behind that flap so that the rain kind of, you know, goes down off of that and won't seep down inside. And again, that's true of all the different seams that we find here. The zip is sort of towards the interior of that. Actually, this one doesn't have a zip. This one just kind of clips in at the top of that. but works well enough for repelling rain. On this side, we see the same. And then here's one big door on this side, which has some nice, big, robust flaps on it to keep uh, that zip completely covered, as well as down here at the bottom. You can see kind of how that covers up. And uh, there's a zipper, comes down and also goes across, as you can tell there. So anyway, that works to repel the rain, run it all off that way, and we've got even further rain repellent, and that kind of sheds it off in that direction right there. We have a stake down point right here where we can bring that down and uh, get, make it nice and taut so that the rain will come off of it. Um, in that downpour that we had in the one, you know, our first outing with it, uh, that thing, it, it did a good job. What can I say? It stayed dry. We all stayed dry inside. Uh, it was pretty wet on the outside and we needed, it, uh, needed to give it some time to dry off before we took it home, but it kept us nice and dry and that's the whole point. But you can kind of see uh, construction wise that it's designed pretty nicely for repelling rain and uh, keeping you dry and comfortable on the inside. So speaking of the inside, I think it's about time we got inside to show you what it looks like in there. So let's do that. Taking a look at the interior of the tent, let's start with the floor. It's not exactly a bathtub floor as far as how the seams are constructed and how it goes out to the edge here. That said, I haven't had any issues with leaking. It's been fine. So uh, that's kind of how that's constructed. And that goes all the way around the, uh, the floor of the tent, that whole seam. Here's the main door, or one of the doors, I should say. 
and that one's got the you know the zip to you know, open it up to a screen if you want to have a screen there and then of course open it up all the way with this zipper here to step out and it just does that on one side so it's basically just a, a one you know sort of a hinged door uh, windows we've got windows all over the place they both uh, they don't open um, you know, the screen does not open, the mesh does not open, which is a good thing. But, um, you know, this flap does open up. And again, that's held water. It's kept it out for me, so no issues there. One on the opposite side here as well. Pockets, we've got plenty of little storage pockets. There's one there. Saw one on that side as well. Also plenty of room for just all your gear. Just very, very spacious on the inside. One of the neat features is the wall on the inside to make it a two-room tent. So we've got a big sheet coming down here, big partition. One's rolled up right there, so you would roll that down and then zip it down the center if you want to keep that partition closed. And click it in, not click it in, but kind of attach it there, attach it down at the bottom as well, and kind of maintain those sort of walls in order to have a two-room tent. Uh, again, if you just want to have one big spacious uh, compartment, instead of two then you just roll them both up up like that we've done that before and uh, gives you a great big spacious single room tent obviously you can tell that uh, big enough for what's nearly a queen size uh, two person at least two person mattress uh, and um, very spacious i could fit two of those in here easily that's my climate static v right there this is the light speed um, my uh, light speed two person air bed and I'll do a little quick field review on that, as well as that in a separate video. <coughs> excuse me, in a separate video. Another cool feature of the uh, in regards to the interior is the second door. You've got actually two doors to the tent, so this one actually opens up bigger. So that uh, has a center zip, as you can see, and then it zips out that way and that way, and then you can sort of peel those back and hang them and have a gigantic open doorway right there. So you've got a main doorway or secondary doorway, doorway depending on how you look at it and how you decide to use them, and an another doorway off on this side. And you can tell that those zip all the way down to create big mesh walls. That does as well, and so does that. Uh, so just in general, gigantic, spacious space here. One of my favorite, favorite things about the space in this tent is the headroom. I'm six foot two, and look at that. All the way to here, I can stand, well, there I touch, but almost all the way to the edge I can stand with no, with, with complete clearance, again. Six foot two, a pretty tall guy. So that's pretty awesome. Again, and that's probably my favorite thing about being inside this tent. Now, I did not show you how this thing goes up to start, but I'm going to show you how it takes down, which is basically the reverse of setup, and uh, that will explain it pretty well. But uh, aside from that takedown and the, the setup, that's pretty much my review, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'm the Late Boy Scout. We'll see you. This does a better job of rechanneling the air, supporting you where you need it, giving where it needs to be, where it needs to give. This just does a much, much better job, and so I, I do like it. 